Hey, I'm Braden. I sing and play guitar in Vila, and this is Vila Backstage. Today I'm going to tell you about the 10 albums I can't put down. The first album on my list is Two Door Cinema Club's Tourist History. I love this album because it's so guitar based, with, mixed with those upbeat drums and catchy vocals. There's a lot of bands that have tried to copy that sound that they kind of created on this album. And the best part about this album to me is there's so many songs that can be hits and I always am finding myself going back to it and just jamming along to this album. Sometimes the greatest discoveries happen on accident, and that's what happened for me when I discovered Harvard's Inevitable and I. This album I instantly fell in love with when I listened to it. Um, it took me by surprise, especially in songs like French Girls that have a trumpet. I was not expecting that at all. Um, I'm constantly revisiting this album. It's one of my favorites of all time, and I definitely recommend you to check it out if you haven't heard it yet. Infinity on High by Fallen Boy is one of my landmark albums. This band definitely got me into music, and I still have the original CD in my car today. Patrick's vocals blow me out of the water every time. The hooks and melodies on Material Me by Tillian are a big reason why I love this album. I love his unique vocal style that's unlike many other artists, and I can put this album on at any time and vibe from start to finish. Last year, Gravity Records, one of my local record stores here in Wilmington, North Carolina, posted As Tall As Lines self-titled on their Instagram. I had to go run down and pick it up before anyone else could because I love this album for its colorful chord progressions and amazing vocals. The next album on my list is At The Drive-In's Relationship of Command. Surprisingly, I didn't listen to this album too much before maybe seven, eight months ago, but I dove in and instantly fell in love. I really love the raw, live sounding energy of this album and I constantly am finding myself listening to it, looking for inspiration in our writing. If you've ever wanted an album that's perfect for late night driving, I would definitely recommend After Hours by The Weeknd. It's definitely a newer album, so I haven't got to sit with it as much as some of the other albums I've talked about today. But the dark synths mixed with his hauntingly angelic vocals just fit together so well. And from start to finish, I'm just in, in his world as he's singing. And I really love this album. Without a doubt, my favorite band of all time is Dance Gavin Dance, and it all started with Downtown Battle Mountain. The soulful vocals drew me in, and the rhythms were unlike anything I'd ever heard. When I need inspiration, I go back to this album. The next album on my list is somewhat of a guilty pleasure. Actually, no, it's not even a guilty pleasure. I love this album. It's Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. The thing I love about this album, obviously her vocals are amazing and mixed with that trap pop that's been really popular the last few years. But the thing I love the most is there's a lot of deep cuts that I don't feel are found on a lot of top pop albums nowadays. Uh, I definitely just find myself listening to this album and getting lost in it and I really love that. When I think back to the band or album that really got me into the post hardcore genre, it would definitely be Pierce the Veil's Selfish Machines. I love the guitar work on this album as well as the production value and it really led to a lot of deeper discoveries in the genre and I'm always thankful that I ran across this album. Thanks for checking out Vila Backstage. In the comments let us know the 10 albums that you can't put down. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.